This Barzakh world, my dear brothers and sisters, is a temporary station between here and the hereafter, the Day of Judgment. In this temporary Barzakh world, a person is able to find out if they are going to heaven or hell. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, إِنَّ الْقَبْرَ أَوَّلُ مَنَازِلِ الْآخِرَةِ فَإِنْ نَجَى مِنْهُ أَحَدْ فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَيْسَرَ مِنْهُ وَإِنْ لَمْ يَنْجُ مِنْهُ فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَشَدَّ مِنْهُ أو أَشَدُّ مِنْهُ The grave is the first part of the hereafter, of the Day of Judgment. If he or she is saved from the punishments and torments of the grave, then whatever is after it is going to be better and easier. He'll be saved from more bigger things. If he is not saved from the torments and punishments of the grave, then whatever is going to come after that is going to be worse. And we mentioned last week that a believer, when he sees his place in Jannah, when the angels show him in paradise, in, in the grave, he says, Oh my Lord, let the last hour come. I want to go to Jannah. And the disbeliever says, when they see their place in hellfire, when the angels show him in the grave, he says, Oh my Lord, don't let the last hour come. Don't let it go. Because he knows that what's going to come after that is going to be worse. Allah says in the Quran, وَمِن وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ And after them, meaning after this life, there is a barzakh until the day they are resurrected. This is in the Quran. So that means there exists a world that you and I cannot see or witness because we're here now. Between this world, after you die, right, it keeps going right until the day people are resurrected. It's called the Barzakh world. That now I would like to take you on that journey just for a little while to witness what is happening in the life of Al Barzakh right now. As we are living now, things in the Barzakh that are occurring. Firstly, before I mention this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ told us that when a person dies, their soul goes to a place, a destination that you and I cannot see or witness in the Barzakh world. The soul goes either to where the believing souls and good souls are gathered, or it goes to where the disbelieving souls and the filthy or the bad souls are gathered. And neither of the two, neither of the two meet each other. They're in bliss, they're in punishment. And when the believing soul goes to the believing place, the believing dead people, their souls run to it. Like a person who is traveling, going overseas, you know how everyone runs to you to ask you about family and friends that they have back at where you came from, right? How are they doing? How's their health? How's... So similarly, in the Barzakh world, the believing souls run to, the, to this new soul that is just a fresh dead person. And they ask them about their brothers, their sisters, mothers, fathers, children, relatives, friends who they have left behind. What are they asking them about? They are asking them about their faith. They are asking them about their deeds. How are they doing? Are they coming close to Allah? Have they gone astray? What's happening to them? So it means that they miss them. They miss them and they want the best for them. But they don't know what's happening to them. So this freshly dead person says to them what he knows about them. If he tells them good, they become happy. Because they know that if they die now, they're going to meet them. They're going to be with them. Especially, especially family. Yeah, any parents and children, family, brothers and sisters. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ And those who believe truly and they died Allah and their offspring believed with them and they died Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reunite them together and will not take any of their rewards away So dead people who die believers will follow their believing family and that's the only concern of the souls of the dead people in the hereafter. As for the bad soul who goes to the bad destination, they also run asking. And if they tell them they're doing good, they actually get relieved. If they're doing bad, they also get upset. Because they have seen what has happened. But if they go to the believing section and they ask them, where is the soul 
or what did our relative do or our father or brother or whoever it is and the freshly dead person says he beat he beat me sometimes you may say he beat me and he died before me they become very upset because they know that they didn't come to the believing souls side he went to the other side so they have no idea The Prophet ﷺ indicates or tells us that the dead people visit each other in their grave. Now, the dead people visit each other in their grave. For he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you bury your dead, then make their kafan, make their shroud nice, and put on beautiful fragrance to them, make them presentable. For the people of the grave yatazawarun, they visit one another. But the Prophet ﷺ told us about this scenario that it will happen. He said, Make their shroud nice, for in their grave, the dead people visit each other. And in Sahih Muslim, Prophet ﷺ said, if any of you put the shroud on your brother, then make it presentable. Presentable, meaning it's an image for someone else who's going to see it. There is a similar hadith where the Prophet ﷺ tells us uh, that bury your dead with the salihun, with the righteous people. For the neighboring person of a grave can harm the person who is next to them if they are being punished. They said, Ya Rasulullah, when they're dead, how are they going to be harmed? He said, won't you get harmed by your neighbor in real life? They said, yes. He goes, and therefore when you're dead, you get harmed by your neighboring dead person. So if you can, choose a grave that is righteous. If you cannot, it's okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look after them, make dua for them. Bi'idhnihi ta'ala. After the barzakh world, the people stay in there for only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how long the people stay in their graves until the day of judgment arrives and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs or commands the angel Israfil to blow into the trumpet for the world to end that is when the dead are risen and everyone on earth and in the heavens whom Allah wills will die the Prophet ﷺ said, you'll stay in your graves for 40. The companions who narrate this hadith say, we don't know if he meant 40 years, 40 days, 40 hours, Allahu A'la, 40 months. But you stay for a while before the resurrection in that state. The body decays. It goes. And if you opened up a grave, you won't see a body being punished. Similar as we said to the example of when you're asleep. However, it is being punished in a world that you cannot understand or being rewarded in a world that you also cannot understand. 